What is up everyone? It's Sir Death Fits. Uh, this is just a voiceover. So I had my best friend over and we were playing Minecraft and we were just healing some villagers. So you can see this. He's going to splash the potion. He got me to stand back so I didn't get weakness. And then he clears one, two, three. Just in rapid succession. Just wait. One. There we go. Two. And then the, we get the librarian cartographer guy. And then... What I did afterwards, he pretended to eat the apple, and then what I did afterwards was I went over to my house. But then I looked for enchanted books in my double chest, then went back on this grey horse, and I edited that out because it was too boring. The villagers were cured on the... Uh, it was actually on the second floor, I was on the first floor. So I went down to the second floor, and then I checked what type of villager it was. So this guy is a cartographer. This guy is a toolsmith, and then I looked over there to see, but it was actually this guy, and he's a leather worker, and then Lord of Thumbs traded some leather. So then I added a few enchantments to the sword, and he was dancing for some reason, I guess to be funny. <laughs> okay, I'll have to admit that was funny. And then we found a butcher outside during night, and we tried to get him inside, but later he despawned. So then. I found a librarian and I attempted to put a pumpkin on. So then we killed the surrounding villagers. I tried using a tower but it didn't work because there were spiders and things. So we killed the surrounding villagers and then I successfully put this pumpkin on them. As you can see right here. So the pumpkin's on them now. Then we used our auto fisher for a short time and it was a short time because the note blocks are very noisy. And I went to check on the villager, he despawned. Then we used teamwork to get this guy down, and we started capturing him. That butcher had despawned because he couldn't pick up equipment, by the way. So yeah, we pulled him inside, we lured this guy down into the spot, so on the third floor. And it, this took quite a bit of time, and it almost didn't work. And then Lord of Thumbs is getting chased after a little bit here. You'll see after we get him down on this third floor. <laughs> So yeah, so this is where the butcher was, but pretty much we're just going, trying to capture him, put him in there without getting stuck in there ourselves. He put the door down, it didn't work, and then after we got him in there, because I chopped down the door and then we placed it properly. Okay, so we did that, and then he's attacking. Yeah, so he's getting chased, like I said. And then we put him in, in there properly, right away. This is very sped up. Because it took quite a bit of time, as I said, as well. So got him in there. And then I went upstairs to put blocks to try and get him to think that he can't escape. So that uh, he wants to go near the back. And then my friend there informed me that he was actually at the back. So I just had to put a fence there. And then I placed the fence and destroyed the cobblestone blocks. And we got him. It was actually nice. We went to sleep, and then we were going to work on the stable. I went to go grab some blocks. So in this chest, we have some materials like cobblestone, and then we also I was also getting some spruce. Then Lord of Thumbs added more to his sword. He hit me. I hit back. We took off our armor to fight, and then I killed him and left most of his stuff on the ground. I also went on to the anvil while I was waiting for him to come back. And then we experienced this visual glitch where he'd just die every time he joined the game and it was kind of funny. Then he was trying to hit my shield with his fist and it, uh, with a mending unbreaking through shield it wasn't even hurting it. And we did this for like a good solid two or three minutes at least, at least that long. And then he got smart, realized he should just use his sword. He hit me, I got down to two hearts, I was eating my chicken, and then he left, I don't know where he went, but, so yeah, I'm trying to defend myself here. I waited and then we just went to sleep, or we tried to, till we grabbed his favorite blaze rod there, 
And then this is just some footage. We found a, another villager in the night and it pained me to see him die because I know how easily you can cure the guys. And then I got on fire, I ran to the water, and then I got hit again a little bit later and I survived as well. This one sped up as well. And then, uh, I, uh, Lord of Thumbs betrayed me, I panicked, placed the boat. That was kind of funny. And then we had this little fight where I was stuck underneath this ledge and he was hitting me with his sword and I was hitting him with mine. And then he ended up killing me. And I also died four or five more times. And then we actually decided to uh, make a place for the stable by evening out this cliff. And you can see where the place is blown up before, where I've had to repair it and also steal some dirt from to repair other craters around here. And then this is just to show you what the stable looked like after we were doing some stuff. Uh, yeah, so thank you everyone so much for watching this Minecraft video. I had a lot of fun making it, and I had more footage, but I don't think I'll have time for it all. So thank you everyone so much for watching, I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye!